Being competitive can can somewhat blind your focus. Understand? So for me, up until this very moment, I'm moving forward. It's always going to be my execution. The win and the time will come. The win and the time will come. Yes, but will it come to him? Well, it appears that most track and field enthusiasts think that it will. What's more? One major thing to consider, though, is the fact that in order to make an educated guess about whether or not Kashane Thompson will dominate the track on his Olympic debut, we need to know who he actually is and what he is capable of. Suffice it to say that Jamaican sprinter Kashane Thompson is the man to watch out for on the track at this year's Olympic Games in Paris. At 22, he is already a national champion. In addition to that, Thompson now ranks as the fourth fastest Jamaican man ever and has also seized the world lead from Ferdinand Omanyala of Kenya, who previously ran 9.79. The young Jamaican rising sprint star recently hogged the spotlight after his victorious finish in the 100-meter heats on day one of the Jamaican trials. There, he clocked the second fastest time in the world and defeated world championship medalist Akeem Blake by a notable margin to advance to the 100-meter semifinals and close in on Olympic qualification. And that isn't the end of it. Not only did he beat Blake, but he also trounced Oblique Seville, who recently defeated the American sprinting sensation Noah Lyles in the 100-meter at the Racers' Grand Prix. Thompson recorded a time of 9.82 seconds at the trials, pushing Seville to the third position. With that, the 22-year-old sprinter is now the sixth fastest man in Jamaican history. His previous personal best was 9.85S, which was set at the Xiamen Diamond League on September 2, 2023. Fun fact, just before he set a PB there, he made his Diamond League debut by finishing fifth in 10.04 seconds in the 100 meter in Monaco. Mind you, it wasn't the only remarkable run he had last year. In fact, the Jamaican gained attention for his performance in the 100 meter on July 6, 2023, at the National Championships. The sprinter completed his qualifying heat in 9.91 seconds for the 100 meters, where he almost effortlessly beat Akeem Blake. However, unfortunately, before the semifinals, the athlete pulled out of the competition. In an interview with Real Talk with T, Thompson weighed in on his 2023 season where he dropped two personal bests in two prestigious competitions. He rated his season a 7 out of 10 and also revealed the reason behind it. He explained, A solid 7. I hadn't had the best start. The progression was really sticky in terms of we saw the potential. It was hard to manifest because of the setbacks. So in terms of potential, we know I got it. In terms of coaching staff, we got it. But setbacks are really, really a bad thing. Fast forward to June of this year, the 2024 Jamaican National Championships determine the Jamaican track and field athletes who will head to Paris, and in the men's 100 meter in late June, Thompson stormed to a phenomenal victory with 9.77 on the clock. His time is the fastest of any man this year, and the world's fastest 100 meter time in two years. To say that this is the perfect preparation for the games is an understatement. While his victory at the Jamaican trials was impressive enough for the time, the fact that this was his first competition of the season makes it even more remarkable. His performances mark a statement season debut, even shaving off five hundredths from his result in the previous day's 100 meter heats. The 22 year old has been racing for the first time since the end of his debut campaign in September 2023 where he ran a 9.87 at the Prefontaine Classic in Oregon, USA. Above all, there is certainly more to come from Thompson. Once he had stormed into a clear lead, he eased up. Otherwise, his time would have been even more impressive. After the race, he admitted that his coach had instructed him just to run the first 60 meters. After that, shut it down, he relayed. This tactic suggests that Thompson could have pushed his record time even lower had he gone all out for the entire 100 meters. It goes without saying that this level of strategic racing indicates a mature approach to competition, prioritizing long-term goals and the bigger picture. If I came second or third, I would have made the team. The goal wasn't to prove anything tonight, just run the 70 or 60 meters and see where I was, Thompson admitted. 
he explained that this was his first time running rounds. Still, I am not sure how fast I can go, but the time did not surprise me tonight, he said. If you're wondering who his coach is, it is none other than the legendary Stephen Frano Francis, who has coached numerous Jamaican athletes and Olympic champions. Francis knows what it takes to mold an Olympic champion. He coached the last four women's 100-meter champions and trained Powell, who Thompson is only 500s off. Among the other names the Jamaican coach has coached are Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Michael Frater, and Bridget Foster Hilton. As the Paris 2024 Olympics approach, all eyes will be on Thompson. His rapid ascent in the sprinting world positions him as a strong contender for a medal, if not the gold. Given his current trajectory and the guidance of Francis, Thompson is not just participating, he is going to Paris to make a statement. His performance at the Jamaican National Championships is just a glimpse of what this young athlete is capable of achieving on the world stage. For his part, Kashane Thompson is not downplaying his sprinting talent as he gears up for the Olympic Games. He started his Olympic campaign on a high note, as he basically shut down the stadium with his world-class run in the final, clocking a world-leading time of 9.77 to win the race. The Jamaican, going up against Letzil Tobogo at the Gulai Istvan Memorial, was in a class of his own as he clocked 9.91 seconds to win the race. In a video shared on his Instagram page, Kishani Thompson had a voiceover talking about taking gifts and talents seriously. The narrator insists that if someone does not take their talent seriously, then they have betrayed themselves. You are born with a gift, and without that, then you get good at something along the way. And what you are good at, you don't take for granted, you don't betray it, the narrator says. Explaining why making the Jamaican Olympic team is very special to him, he said, I had to really work for it. Making it to the Olympic team remains a dream come true for the Jamaican 22-year-old as he chases more history on the stage. He shared that he had to work harder and even go beyond the limits to ensure he achieves his targets. The sprint sensation added that growing up, life was tough, but is glad to have fought through the hardships and emerge on the top. He is now the fastest man in the world in 2024, thanks to his world leading time at the Jamaican Olympic Trials men's 100 meter final. Life was very humbling, nothing was given to me, and I had to really work for it and get through my trials and tribulations, he said. I kept striving harder and never gave up on myself, and I did what I had to do, even more that I had to do, and it kept me grounded. He added, I am prepared in terms of I do not think about it and let it overwhelm me. My main aim is the track. Watch this to see who else dreams of dominating the track in Paris.